For people that don't know who you are, would you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Kwame, uh, K-W-A-M-A, some people call me P-S-O Kwame. In a world, ay, where they kill for the fool, ay, nigga you fool, ay, gotta live with a gun, ay, when you live in a world, ay, where they kill for the fool, ay, nigga you fool, ay, when you come from the hood. So when the day I die, I'm living for you and me. Looking up to the sky, praying up to the Lord. Looking up for my dogs, I promise that we gon' ball. I know all my niggas, they gon' ride. From Brooklyn, I rap. <laughs> <laughs> I like <clothes>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a rapper, will you tell us some of your influences that you've had? Uh, as a rapper, influences. Um, I have a lot of influences that aren't rappers, so I'll just uh, uh, start with Bob Marley, um, Tupac, Biggie, Snoop Dogg, uh, Pimp C, just a little bit of everything. Okay. I like that Pimp C. Yeah, Pimp C. <laughs> Bro. I'm from, uh, I was born in Bedford, Brooklyn, but I predominantly grew up in uh, East New York and Flatbush. And um, that's where I'm from, yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about the current state of New York hip-hop? I think New York, state of, the current state of New York hip-hop is in a great place. I think the problem with the media is they no longer necessarily focus on talented people. They focus on the people that bring a lot of uh, negativity to the forefront. And I, don't know, I feel like the media has an important job just as much as the people who make the music. That's true, though. You know, like, people believe whatever you tell them. You know, people believe everything they see and watch on the news. Mm -hmm. So when you spend your time focusing on people who aren't really putting nothing out there that's thought provoking, and I'm not saying people. I'm not saying like street artists don't make thought provoking music because they do just as well. Mm -hmm. But it's just the people, you know, it's just certain particular artists. It's like, bro, what is, what is this? Like, I mean, it's one of those things, it's the world we live in now, so social media heavy. People read a comment or something and they just go with it. That's what it is. Man, it's a lot of that. <laughs> Every day you get on Twitter, there's something new that's not always true. But. Talking on social media, do you feel like social media is important? Uh, they made it important. It's important now, you know, like, mm -hmm. but I think it's also important to be real in real life. It, like, you gotta go, you still gotta go out and shake people's hands. Mm -hmm. You still have to, you know, be real in real life. Dick Wise, what are you working on right now? Uh, right now, I'm uh, finishing up my EP. Excuse me, uh, it's titled Gemini. And um, it should be out like in the next couple months, like late May. Is the name Jim I come? Is it from you or is it? Well, um, I was born uh, May twenty seventh, so I'm a Gemini. But um, the idea behind it is everyone has a perception of what they think a Gemini is, mm -hmm. and uh, nine times out of ten, people always say like you're crazy. You got two split personalities, but these people don't know me. Mm -hmm. They just read something. Like, I'm still a product of my mother and father's personality, so yeah, that plays a part in who I am as well. <laughs> you know, I like it though because <laughs> even it's uh, you know even though you said it, it, it calmed down what people think, but it still shows the duality of a Gemini. You yeah, know what I'm I'm, saying? it's funny because all my friends, like people I grew up with, they're like, bro, you, you don't act like the, the particular, you know, the, the Gemini that people would quote unquote say, you know, is a Gemini. I don't know, I'm just myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, um, what inspiration have you been, like, found around for the project, just around your daily life? or mm, Change. You know, like, uh, tired of living the life I've been living. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I, I don't know, in my heart, I know I'm destined for more. Some people don't feel like that. Mm -hmm. Now, some people, you know, they hear you getting raised at work, and they're like, yeah, I hear you getting raised at work. I'm like, damn, I've been here that long. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Shit, I'm not even go. I'm not even do something else. Like I wasn't made to wake up and clock in and sit somewhere for eight hours and then go home and make whatever's left of that time and do the same thing again. I just you know what I'm saying? What's all this land for? What's all these different places in the world for it? You're not gonna see that if you at work. So just gotta figure out something to do outside of that. To live the life you want to live. <laughs> I agree that hundred <laughs> percent. You know, it's one of those things. It's like if you don't, if you don't take things into your own hands, no one's gonna take it for you. Man, but all of bitter. But speaking of places, you know, there's only places to go. If you could vacation right now, where would you go? I'm going to Jamaica right now. Yeah. Jamaica, Trinidad, or Africa? What is it that you're looking for in those places? Well, my family from Jamaica and. Fucking, like my family's from Jamaica, Trinidad, and we all, you know, black people, we all come from Africa, so I'm just trying to figure out who started all of this shit mm-hmm. for my family, you know? I feel like that would give me more sense of, um, not even so much more sense of a purpose, but you want to know where you come from, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm-hmm. With everything going on, there's a lot of, there's so much going on in the, the music industry right now. How do you feel about clones? Do you think rap clones actually exist? <coughs> I don't know, man. Niggas got money, so <coughs> anything's possible. possible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put nothing past anybody with money. I mean, I just think it's a cool thing. You make a name for yourself, you clone yourself, now you don't got to do none of the work. <laughs> yeah. I to yeah. Oh man. So, it's, and also speaking of big things that are happening, how what's your take on collaboration albums? With albums like Watch the Throne, Drip Too Hard, Without Warning, what is your take on that? And would you actually ever do a collaboration album? Um, I love collaboration albums. You know, you taking two completely different sounds two different people and you put it in one room. My only problem with those albums is they do it in a week. Mm-hmm. They're taking their time with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. If you did that in a week, imagine what you could do in two, three months. You know what I'm saying? Just, though, it doesn't hurt to take your time with art. You know, like you might come back to it and change, want to change something about it. Mm-hmm. You know, so. People, if people did want to contact you for collaboration, you'd be open for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you like, if you are uh, an artist of integrity, you know, and you're a respectable person, and um, you gotta have some type of bond, though, you know, like, you don't need to work with someone, but you gotta hang out and build that chemistry so the music is a little bit more organic than just, you know, I fuck with you, you fuck with me, and make a song. It's not, I mean, that's cool, but it, ain't, it won't be our best work, you know? What are your favorite, like, local artists or just artists that aren't? aren't super, I guess, out there yet. Like, about to break the mold, I would say. Um, top three. Top three favorite artists local. No, I say Eva. And um, she's from Memphis, and she's, she's very talented out here. Like, she's not out here, but she's very talented, and she's, she's slowly, like, about to, about to break that mold. Um, I fuck with other artists, too. But like, it's not genuine. Like, mm-hmm. They're talented people, but like, I'll meet them mm-hmm. and they act like they've never met me before. But I've, I've introduced myself to them like three, four times already. So I'm just at a point where it's like, I only fuck with the people that fuck with me. That's but I'm not one of those people to deny anyone's talent. I just, mm-hmm. I'm just not shedding light on nobody that, you know, mm-hmm. it's too hot to remember someone, you know? Definitely. Like, I'm good on that. See that you like fashion, and I think fashion is a big thing. Fashion. The fashion now is is crazy. So, what are some of your takes? What are some of your favorite brands, even? But fashion has always been crazy. True. You know, it's just now these people are uh, more open to the importance of hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the number one listened to genre of music in the world, from what I've recently read. So, <clears throat> they have no choice but to fuck. Excuse me, fuck with, with, with what's popular. But I think I think it's a good sense as urbanizing fashion because it, I feel like 
Clothing is something that you wear for what you feel. You mm -hmm. wore that day for what you felt that yeah. day. I can. I'm about to shoot at a thrift store. I'm about to shoot at a thrift store. That's hot I'm now, saying, though. Like, Thrifting is hot. Like, I go to Target and dress better than me. So <laughs> I just like certain things work, you know? Like mm -hmm. clothes at the end of the day. You gotta wear something. And why not try your personality? Mm -hmm. you know? Do you have uh, any other events you have like coming up? Um, yeah, I'm perf well, you know, we, uh, you can catch me locally, like, uh, it's always something popping up here that I might be performing at, mm -hmm. randomly, so, and I think next week I'm performing somewhere in Deep Ellum, and, um, I might have two shows that will be all at once, so, it's, 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 things are slowly, you know, yeah. making the best off relationships I've been making. People we'll trying to catch up with you and find out what you're doing, where can they find you at? Um, you can find me on on Twitter and Instagram at P S O K W A M A. Um, and all music streaming platforms is just K, uh, K W A M A. I mean, I'm sorry, K W A K W A M A. Kwame on Spotify, Apple Music, um, Google, Apple Music. I'm everywhere. Peace. I just gotta cry. They let out the sweet and all the way.